There's a symptom apparent in America right now. It's evident in political talk shows, in entertainment coverage, in artistic criticism of every kind, in religious discussion. We are living in a courtroom culture. We were living in a celebrity culture, but that's dead. Now we're only interested in celebrities if they're in court. We are living in a culture of extreme advocacy, of confrontation, of judgment, and of verdict. Discussion has given away to debate. Communication has become a contest of wills. Public talking has become obnoxious and insincere. Why? Maybe it's because deep down under the chatter we have come to a place where we know that we don't know anything. But nobody's willing to say that. From the Preface of Doubt, a parable by John Patrick Shanley, 2005. Episode 25 of One Man's Opinion. Today I am discussing Westport Country Playhouse's production of John Patrick Shanley's brilliant play, Doubt, a Parable, directed by David Kennedy, running in person through November 20th and online streaming through November 21st. For a 75-minute play, Doubt has a lot of layers to peel away, and though I won't touch on them all here, because if I did, I'd end up spoiling the play's ending, which should be left for you to discover for the first time on your own, I'll meet out what I can. Set at St. Nicholas, a Catholic church and school in the Bronx, Doubt follows sisters Aloysius Bouvier, played by Betsy Aiden, and her dogged attempt to oust Father Benjamin Flynn, played by Eric Bryant, under the suspicion that he has acted inappropriately with Donald Muller, a 12-year-old student at the school. There is no evidence to support her claim, just suspicion based on an observation by another nun, Sister James, played by Kirsten Anderson, who said that Donald came to her class upset and smelling of alcohol after serving as an altar boy during service. And this is why I doubt is a parable. There is a rich moral message within the short fictional story, and the moral has almost nothing to do with whether Father Flynn is guilty of what he's been accused of, but with the attitudes of those who pursue their objectives. Who do we listen to, and how does it affect our own development? Should we doubt the reassurances of the authorities around us? Sister Aloysius and Father Flynn have their adamant and absolute positions on the issue. They are the metaphors of the talking heads on cable news talk shows, telling us absolutes of things that either know nothing of or they absolutely know, but attempt to obfuscate and manipulate their viewers. We, our sister James, caught between the two, being told what truth is when neither provides evidence except their word, then can't sleep because of our own uncertainty. Their adamant voice, as Shanley said, becomes obnoxious and insincere. We grow to distrust. We begin to doubt. Or worse, we become like the talking heads, preaching an absolute truth that we know nothing about. We become the acolytes of the absolute. The performances are all excellent. Betsy Adam looked a little bit unsure about her lines in the first couple of scenes with what felt like unintended pauses between words and lines. But once she locked in, she embodied the indomitable and flappable persona that Sister Aloysius is and is amazing to watch. Eric Bryant is overall good as Father Flynn. I do wish he played the last scene with Aloysius a little more reserved and less pleading, but that falls more on David Kennedy's shoulders than his, in my opinion. Kirsten Anderson fills the role of Sister James perfectly. She embodies the blindly faithful and becomes the perfect representative of ourselves. The standout performance, though, is Sharina Martin, who plays Mrs. Muller, Donald's mother, who in one scene gives the most complex and dedicated performance of the show. There are little things in the staging of doubt, though, that isn't necessarily bad, but was unnecessary, like the actors coming on stage pre-show and dressing into their roles And also, as each scene begins, one of the actors verbally describes what the scene setting is. Uh, They're not needed and seems to just pad the runtime a little. But overall, this is a fantastic production of Doubt. The performances are dynamic, and the play in and of itself is one of the more powerful metaphors on American cultural attitudes. But I am only one man's opinion of Doubt, a parable at Westport Country Playhouse, running on stage through November 20th and streaming online through November 21st, so be sure to leave yours in the comments below. I'll leave a link to the tickets information below, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to follow me for future reviews. My next review will be Music Theater of Connecticut's production of Falsetto Land, so until then, I will see you at the theater.